Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore, uh, Cajun Soft Wash out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today we're going to talk a little bit about competition. Is competition a good thing, a bad thing? Um, are you looking at the competition? Why are you looking at the competition? Are you trying to keep up with the competition? Is there too much competition? Look, I'm in the cleaning industry. Um, I own a soft wash company out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And when I started, um, there was really my company and one other company out there. Um, there may have been a couple of little things here and there, but um, now there's, I don't even know how many companies there are, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 different companies. So the other day, um, I, I was, I had to go out and finish up a job for the guys. And when I did that, when I got done, the owner of the comp or the owner of the house came up to me and he said um, that there were three different bids that he had received. There was one bid that was higher than us, one bid that was ours, and then there was another guy that was lower than we were. But he didn't feel like the lower guy really knew what he was talking about, and so he he chose us. So my point in part of this is simply that. Somebody bid more than, the, the, more than we did, okay? That's, that's good. That's healthy, okay? Somebody bid lower than we did. That's good. That's healthy, right? There are buyers for every price range. I'm going to say that getting chastised sometimes for um, helping the uh, other contractors grow their business. Helping contractors grow their business is a good thing for me because I went out and I finished a job and at the end of that job the homeowner came up to me and said there was somebody higher than me then there was us and then there was somebody lower than us right so if everybody out there is just out there taking my market share why was somebody higher than me why was somebody lower than me everybody should be lower than me if somebody's taking all the market share or trying to steal my market from me that's not it. There's different levels of, of any service or any product or anything you buy. Okay. I'm happy that somebody was that somebody was priced higher than we were because it means that they see the value in what it is that they do. They know what it actually takes to operate this business. The lower price guy, he lost to two higher price guys simply because he didn't. He didn't sell the value. He didn't know what he was. He, he didn't make the homeowner feel comfortable about what it was that he was trying to sell. Look, if you drive down the street in, in, in my area, Baton Rouge, just outside Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I can drive down the road any given day uh, and I can see 10, 15, 20 different lawn mowing guys, right? There are a lot of guys out there with just a single truck, single trailer, single lawnmower. They're out there by themselves. They're, ha they're, happy. they're fat and happy, right? There's so much competition out there in that realm that you would think that there's no room for anybody else. There's no way you can, there's no way you can make any money in the lawn mowing business because there's so many people out there doing it. Yet there's million dollar companies in this, in this area that, that, I mean, they got big rigs. They got multiple rigs, right? They're out there doing it, and, and they're not worried about all the little guys. Look, another thing is with competition, I had somebody say to me once what I had said about somebody being higher priced than I am. He's like, oh, man, you need to raise your prices. You need to do this. You need to, you need to be on top. You need to be the big dog every time. No, you don't. You don't always need to be the highest price. You don't always need to be the top dog. You need to be the best at what you do, but know that there's always going to be somebody bigger and better. I, I don't know every single contractor out there now. There are, there are um, several that are doing very, very well, and I'm happy for them, and I, I help several of them get started. I still help them to this day. doesn't matter. To me, it's about making sure that this industry is doing good, right? Making sure that there's a lot of people out there that are just jack wagons, that they have no idea what they're doing and they're ruining people's properties or their whatever the case may be. I want to prevent that. 
I want a good name in the industry. I want, I want the industry to have a good name, okay? But in order to do that, I mean, for me, I guess, trying to look at and, and keep up with somebody else, trying to look at, oh, well, he's got a bigger truck than I do, or he's got this. Forget about all that. Do you, as they say. I can tell you, as you grow your company, that just because you have multiple trucks and um, it doesn't mean that you're going to get make more money. Not always. I mean, you, you will eventually as you as you step up and you upgrade. I mean, that's that's the whole purpose in getting off the truck. And it doesn't have to be about the exterior cleaning industry. It can be about any industry, anything that you do. It, here's a couple of my points. First of all, don't worry about being the big dog. Okay. Don't worry about being the small dog. Don't worry about being a dog at all. Just look at, focus on what you, can, t, t, let me go this way. I don't know if any of you know much about horses, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring some horses into this. Have you ever gone to like a racetrack or something? You see they got this thing on these horses and, they, and, and this thing basically does this, okay? What it's doing is it's, it's taking away that peripheral view of the horse, right? Because the horse is always looking. I remember, uh, I don't remember what year it was, Michael Phelps, if you know who he is, he's the, the, the swimmer and the one the gold medals and all that. And there was a, a picture that went around of him and, and the guy in second place. And the picture shows Michael Phelps swimming and his eyes are, are forward, forward, right? And the guy in second place is taking his stroke and he's looking at Michael Phelps, okay? He's behind him, not much, but he's behind him. But he's worried about where that other guy is at. He's not worried about where he is at. He's worried about him. You ever notice a lot of, a lot of things that you watch, a lot of competitions that you watch, and races that you watch, and things of that nature. The guy that's always looking is the guy that's losing, right? Because he's trying to keep up with somebody else. He's, don't, don't worry about what that guy has. Worry about what you have. Competition is a good thing. Competition can also be a bad thing, right? So is there such a thing as too much competition? Sure there is. Would I like it if there were no competition? I, I, I'd have to answer that no. I wouldn't like it if there were no competition because I'd be so busy my head would, be, would explode uh, um, just because of who I am. Too much competition is... I, I don't... Yes, it depends on your market. Yes, it, there, there are a lot of variables in that. But there are different buyers for every competitive thing, right? When I went out on this job to finish this job, when I got done, the homeowner said there was somebody higher priced, then there was you, and then there was somebody lower priced. There's somebody that fits each of those, okay? He didn't want to go with that higher price, plus he knew that Hey, this guy knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. And so, and, he, and he's at a lower price point, so I'm going to choose him. Okay. But there, there are those people that, that they, they will only choose you if you are the highest price. Years and years and years ago, uh, I'm going to try not to get into a big old ramble here again. Years and years and years ago, I was a home inspector. And one of the home inspectors in our market was double our price on everything. Me and the other, um, you know, home inspectors in the area, we all knew each other. I was ASHI certified, and so we would have our ASHI meetings, and one guy would always be, you know, when we we're talking about stuff, he'd always be twice our price, and one day we challenged him, you know, dude, you're stupid, man. You're losing jobs like crazy. You're always so, you're so high priced, and he said to us, no, I mean, I think you guys are the ones that are stupid. I, I, you're right. I catch half the jobs that you guys catch, but I make twice as much on those jobs. I work half as much as you do to make the same amount you do. And honestly, I get referred probably more. So I make more money than you do. and I don't work as hard as you do. That's smart. Okay. So there are a lot of people that would not use that guy just solely based on his price. Then there's us, you know, they were all in that same price range. And lots of people using us. And then there's the guy that was the lowest guy that he didn't even bring a ladder with him to get on the roof, you know, and people still hired him, okay? 
So there's different, there's always going to be jobs for all those different price ranges. There's always going to be people that will use them. First thing you need to do, in my opinion, is quit looking in the rearview mirror. Quit trying to chase that guy. Quit trying to always be that biggest, best. You want to be the best for you and your company and what and your clients. Okay, that's what I strive. I strive to be the best for my clients, and whatever grows, grows. Whatever happens, happens. Right, um, and it's why I'm I'm a teacher in the industry because I like to help people. It's what I do. It's it's what makes me feel good. And I get accused of, well, you're helping competitors. Yes, I'm helping competitors in my own market. And now I have people that are higher than I am in pricing. They see the value. They're teaching the value. They're explaining the value. They're not damaging plants. They're not damaging properties. They're doing a great job. I am happy to have competitors in my market that are doing a good job. I'd rather that all the competitors do a good job, right? Then we'd have to sell um, based on our looks, and I'm going to win them every time. Hey, I appreciate y'all for listening to me, and I'm getting into a rant now. Um, competition, I think it's a good thing. I think you need to uh, quit looking over your shoulders, quit worrying about the other guy, focus on what's directly in front of you, and uh, go for it. So I appreciate y'all for listening to me. Doug Gort, Doug Duke, Cajun Software. I'm out of here. Thank you.